right, today uh, we got something a little bit different for you guys. Um, it is July 2nd, about 6.30 in the morning. Getting ready to head up to the cabin, meeting uh, Donnie and Brian and my dad up there. We are setting up our solar um, solar electric for the cabin. Uh, we bought a panel, some batteries, running wire to the cabin, everything. Um, it's a little bit of an off-grid solar setup for you guys just to show you how that works and how we're going to set it up so um i'm gonna do what i can to film some of this the initial setup and and how we hook everything up so hopefully it's something you guys are interested in i um, just wanted to do something a little bit different i had this opportunity to to get this on film um obviously this isn't something we do every day so um bear with us we'll uh do what we can to get it set up and once it's up and running uh we'll, we'll show you the whole setup so Stay with me, uh, I'm gonna go grab a quick breakfast and head out to the cabin and uh, we'll see you out there. Well, I had to uh, stop in, grab a quick breakfast uh, this morning, some coffee, and uh, happened to be in town right where we purchased the solar equipment here. So I figured I'd show you guys, just let you know, you know, in case somebody was looking. Um, it's a good spot to, to check out. Um, this location is, is in Standish, Michigan. Um, we stopped in here I don't know, a little while back my brother stopped in and talked to Bob here that owns the place and told them what we were looking for um, you know what our expectations were what we wanted it to do at the cabin how big the cabin was you know a thousand square foot running lights fans TV and you know just miscellaneous things um, so based off of that that's what he built for us uh, kind of a package deal and super easy no hassle um pretty much told them yeah we wanted it this day we came in picked it up it was ready for us and we just pretty much have to go set it up now so uh, but this is the location suntech wind and solar um i don't know if you can see uh they got the phone number there I know they probably do online ordering as well, but, uh, but yeah, it's a small little place here in Standish, but super easy to work with, and uh, Bob definitely knows his stuff here, so if you guys need anything solar related, give him a shout. And with that, we're going to head out to the cabin and start setting up. Alright, we're at the cabin. Main goal is get that solar up and running so we can just come up here and flick on a light and watch TV, whatever we need to do, but we just got tired of running the generator. You know, the night before hunting season. Don't want to be running that generator till 10 11 o'clock before you go to bed and then have to turn it on in the morning but we'll get her up and running and go from there all right dad and donnie are in there hanging the panel on the wall um me and brian are going to start building a frame to set the panel on uh we have a couple l brackets that we're going to fastened to the the frame to hold the panel in place uh, we just feel like we want to do that rather than screwing the panel right to the frame that way we can just remove those L brackets if we ever need to take the panel apart or take it off or clean it anything like that so um, can get that started here um, realistically I mean it's looking like it should go pretty quick for us um, that panel is already all set up all the controls are all put together for us uh, Bob already put everything on the panel nice for us so there's nothing really have to do it's kind of just a plug and play so we will get the panel frame built and get the panel on it 
uh, run the wire under the cabin to the panel, hook it up, and uh, hopefully everything works out. So we'll see what happens. The batteries we're using. Don't know water. Two of those. Huh? Water. I moved the tub out of here. Alright, we got the panel mounted on the wall with the inverter and all the controls tied into the breaker box here. Um, let me just flip a flip a switch on the inverter here. It powers up the batteries. We're good to go. wire running under the cabin, trenched it out to the panel, there we have the panel sitting on a frame, and on this pole we made this metal bracket just out of scrap metal, but it sits on this pole so we can pivot it, it's got a lock here, loosen it up to spin it. Tighten it back up to lock it in place. That way we can adjust it based on where the sun's at. Getting real close to have her up and running. Just got to pull the extra wire up through the cabin and cut it to length. Brian's working on getting the trench under the porch right now. Donnie and Brian. But getting close. All right, we got everything powered up. We got her battery input, shows what the wattage we produce. The inverter even has USB and charging ports on there. Then this is like its own little breaker system here. You can wire things in up here, fans, lights, things like that. But we have it going right over to our main breaker panel. So it is feeding the entire cabin. We got lights, we got fans. TV. Don't even get me started on the computer system. Everything is up and running. Do 
any work in here. So, only about five hours of screwing around and $3,000 later. <laughs> Up and running. No more generators at deer camp. But pretty quick and simple. Um, the way those guys set it up for us. I mean, everything was already put together on the board for us. Bought it as a package. Um, so that made it real simple. There was a lot less, you know, guesswork at that point. So all we had to do was build the stand for the panel, uh, run the ground underground wire, and bring it up into the panel. Hook it to the inverter. Um, I mean, really, it was, it was quick and simple. The battery sit down here under our shelving. It really doesn't take up much space either. So, it has a shut off switch here, so you can turn it off completely if you want to. Temperature sensor on the batteries to prevent it from overheating. Pretty much everything you need. So, hopefully, we'll, uh, get some use out of it but stay tuned we'll get this all put together for you and then uh this afternoon i'm gonna be heading out uh, fishing on the bay so we'll see maybe i'll throw some of that footage in there too for you so, uh, thanks for coming along